Hey guys, it's the Constant Dilemma again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all the more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the Magic Leap videos. I've been showing you a lot of different things in the series for Magic Leap, and today I want to focus on a new template, actually two new templates that Magic Leap provides for basically getting started in Magic Leap development. It's going to save you a lot of time because you don't have to be, you know, getting things organized, structure the project. These templates are going to get you kickstarted into the development of Magic Leap with augmented reality. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you how you can find the template if you need to download and get started with Magic Leap. So I'm going to start from scratch because I want to basically walk you through the entire process. So we're going to go into magicleap.com and then we're going to go into developer. That's where the creator's portal is going to be located. Then we're going to go into learn and look for the instructions on Unity. So when I started, I, I wasn't really as familiar with the with the tool. So it was really hard for me to get started with Magic Leap. And then, you know, I got familiar with it. And there were just a lot of different settings that you had to set up in order to get a project going. So Magic Leap now has a, has a template and that's what I'm going to be showing you. I showed you before. So let me just go ahead and search for a template here. So where I went is I went into Unity, Unity Setup, and then you're gonna see that they walk you through, you know, the installation, they have a video also, which is great, and also the Unity Project Setup. So if we go all the way down here, they have now two different templates, one template that works with 2018.2.x, and then one template that works with 2018.3.x. So this one works, and I believe both of them work with Visual Effects Graph and also Shader Graph. I haven't really gotten to work the Visual Effects Graph on, you know, with all the tools, and that's because I haven't really tested everything. But according to to developers that work at Magic Leap and that I have a lot of communication with, these two should work with both with Shader Graph and also Visual Effects Graph. So, and also if you're curious about you know, having this work with Visual Effects Graph, make sure that you, you look at my videos because the Visual Effects Graph works, but not all the tools. And that's what I found when I was testing the, the previous version of the templates. The new version of the templates, I haven't tested it myself, so I'll be doing that in the next few days. But these are the two templates that are available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download both, and we're going to be looking at what they have in, in Unity. And then also, if you want to, you know, make sure that you have these versions of Looming SDK 023 and also Looming SDK 023. And also make sure that you have these versions, which is Looming SDK 023 and also Looming SDK 022. I guess if you're working with 22, you do this one. If you're working with 23, you will do that one. And then they also walk you through the process of adding a project. I'm going to skip through that, but make sure that you read this information because I've done this way too many times. And I'm just going to wait for the for the template. And the next thing that we're going to be doing now is just opening this project. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open the open them in the Finder and look at all the things that I. Let me just go ahead and delete all this stuff so they're not on the way. Okay, so we're going to be looking at 22 and also 23. And also I'm gonna show you how and what you need to do to get it to get him at it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the Unity Hub. And basically what you'll do is you'll have the Unity Hub and then what you need to do is just click on add. And we're gonna go into the location. Normally I put these in a different folder, so not in the downloads. I would put this one under, and this is something that I do, I think I recommend everybody to do if you're doing it, just keep things organized. I have, you know, depending on the technology where, where you know, I put my, my projects, if I'm working with Unity, I would put them under Unity. And then normally I have a template here, but it looks like I, I might have deleted the previous template. So what you can do is you can just have a folder here that, you know, will hold the templates. And I normally put pound in it so that when the sorting happens, then that's the first thing that shows. So I'm just gonna do magic leap template and then I'll just copy. I guess in this case, it'll be plural since we have two templates. So let's go ahead and go back and then fix that. Go back here. And then these are the two templates. So let me go ahead and go into the folder. So as you can see, that's the default folder that I have in Unity. So it makes it easier for me to. So you probably wouldn't work like in this way. So what you would do is you would, you can open it and look at it. But what I would recommend that you do 
if you're going to start a new project just go ahead and copy that folder and then you know this is going to be now your experience this is going to be magic leap i can just say my magic leap experience and then that wouldn't leave in the templates folder i normally would put it in in the actual in the previous folder which is my unity folder so that way we can keep this intact and then anytime you start a new project in, in my case i do a lot of projects so this is really helpful so now if we go back and we can check and see that my magic experience is right here and then all the files you know and folders of course will be there so if you want to do that with version 22 you can do or if you want to do it with version 23 you can also do that so now let's go back into my unity folder here and then I can just search for let me go ahead and oh, it's right here or I could have sorted by by name so I'm just gonna go ahead and click open and and now it's gonna show here if you don't have the editor that they they asked for make sure that you download that first that way you don't have to deal with you know converting your project and anything like that but it's I have the editor that they built the template with so it's version 2018.2 that to f1 and then it'll ask you what platform you want to use. So let's say that in my case, I wanted to use Lumen. I would select Lumen, and then you basically just click on it. It'll open up the project in Unity, and then it'll show. One thing that, I, that I'm gonna look at right now is we're gonna be looking at the files. So let's go ahead and open it with code. So I'm gonna say my Magic League experience, and then code that. And I'm gonna open and start looking at some of the package dependencies. I like to use the editor tools like this to be able to, so VS Code in my case, to be able to look at all the packages and the manifest to see what some of the requirements are. So if we look at some of the requirements here that are that are really important to know is that we are now using the com.unity XR magic lib. This is using version 3.00 preview, tw preview 12 and then also the XR management. So it used to be that you had to download also some modules and le legacy helpers and it was just basically a little bit disorganized and now this is basically everything that you need for for this version of the template so now that we have that information and, and we go back to unity it looks like unity is still, is still importing everything in the project will be you know already set up we'll have already uh, basically a, a scene that show us how we can use how we can use the template it'll be ready to go and all you need really need to do is just build that template and then you know just look at just look at the results in the device. So we're almost do done here, and then as soon as it's done, we'll start looking at the Unity project. And then, okay, yeah, I think I think that's what we need to do. So if you get this error, like a, like the one that I'm getting because I'm using the latest version of the operating system, make sure you look for that file, and then I'm hitting my control, and then right click, open. It's gonna give you this pop-up now that it's going to basically allow us to tell the system that this is a trusted file so it's going to hit open and then hopefully if i hit cancel now it'll go away that's uh, just really painful all right so now i have this hello cube here and this is you know this is the template with 2018.2.2 f1 so the if i go to the scenes i have a hello world actually a hello cube and this is an issue with 2000 with 2018.2.2 if i double click on it it open up, opens up in the editor i think this is an issue with vs code but you can also go so right now we're looking at the hello cube we're also there's also an empty scene that i believe it doesn't have anything in it but we'll check it anyways so if i go here and then look at the empty scene there's really nothing in it and then the hello cube will have the basically the scene that will get you started so let me go back to go back to that open scene and then scenes and go into the hello cube so this is a scene that has everything that you need to get going with magic Leap. In fact, if we go into build settings and we go into player settings, everything should already be set up in a way that you can use. So it has the default company, the Magic League template, the version of the template, and then most of these settings are already set up for you. A bundle identifier, which is the which is the you know the beginning of the test of the test template, and then yeah, and so on, and also the, the right compatibility level for the API, which is for that X. So looks like this is good. Let's go ahead and, and open up the other one now that we, we looked at and we suffered through the Catalina experience. So I'm gonna go back into code, go back into Unity, and then we're going to be looking at Magellic templates again. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the 23. So I'm just gonna copy that and then just paste it so that we can create a new. So this one we can just call it my Magic Leap experience, experience two. 
and then I'll just put that one under my Unity folder, go back here, and then let's go ahead and sort by name, and we can see that we have that one. So if I go into, back into my Magic Leap, my actual Unity Hub, so I'm gonna close out of this, and then let's go ahead and click on the Unity Hub here, click on Add, and we're gonna do the same thing again. This is more of a, of a practice drill. So I'm gonna go into this one, hit Open, and if I do that, it's going to show you, you know, that you can open it in 2018 that to that 15, which we can we can clearly do. It looks like when I went in here, it was telling me for 23 to use Unity 2018 that 3.x. So that's basically what we're going to use. I'm not sure why it's requiring this one. It might be the one that they build it with. So let's go ahead and select three and see and see what happened. It's going to say, okay, we want to upgrade the project and it's going to open it up it's going to upgrade i'm going to look at something while that is running just to make sure that that's it's correct and let's go to that and i'm going to open up the project now so we're also going to be looking at the package dependencies here just so that we are aware of what's included so if we look at the manifest so 3.00 preview 12 this is all good and for some reason i thought that the shitty graph stuff was going to be included in here but i don't see it in here i would think it, i think it might be it is compatible but they're they, they're not including that information those packages out of the bat so you might just need to include those so i think this is a still still going looks like this finished i'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel if this com keeps coming up we're just gonna do the fix that we did before so i'm gonna go into my magic league experience 2 and i'm just gonna copy the name here that it's complaining about then we're just going to search and then make sure that we select that folder. I'm going to hit my control and then right click, open. And then we're going to give it permission. Now we can hit cancel. And it should be done here in just a second. And yeah, it looks like we don't get any errors this time. And if we look at the if we look at the hello cube scene, which is let's go ahead and click on open scenes. And I'm going to go scenes and then hello cube. Make sure that I have the right yep, and I do and this is the hello cube scene so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions about anything that i just did please let me know all right guys thank you much for watching today i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about anything that i just showed you on the magic leap template please let me know in the comments also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers and also find me in patreon.com where i'm basically posting what i'm doing behind the scenes in my office and also early access to source code so thank you very much guys